people is trolling. So much trolling. Wearing a horse head mask. Hey dudes! I don't know what you're talking and about. And dudettes. And anybody who doesn't identify with gender binaries. How's it going? <laughs> We're gonna slice up some shiz. Yeah. Why does that Things... say we've only played for three and a half hours? That doesn't seem right. Things are in two large pieces in the world. Yeah, they're too large that of pieces. cannot stand. We're going to turn them into... There needs to be more things in the world. Progressively smaller pieces. Uh, what happened last time? Uh... Riding, you're oh, right. You got depressed. And I can't walk right here. I do not intend to abort the mission. But I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. This is pretty much the most bullshit power down ever. Oh yes. We never turn you to El Mariachi 2. Revengeance. Yeah. In case anybody forgot that we have the Mariachi suit. The best ever outfit. So we're supposed yeah. to avoid combat. There's a dude over there. Supposed to avoid combat because I'm all mopey. Yeah. Really? Ugh. I like the way your shoulder pad is sticking through the. Yeah. I think I'm gonna pick the power up. I got it. I hate this tree. I don't like the tree. I hate trees. What the? No. You're just too mopey. It's I'm I'm slicing it. It's just not doing anything. And I can't jump. And there we go. Ugh. Uh. I just like that, yeah, it turns out your weakness was feelings. Square.cube says, you know it's both great and terrible? I start my new job tomorrow. That's, mm. th that is, that is great, and yeah. I can see how, how that would be, uh, very nerve-wracking as well. Though. Congratulations. Good luck. Eh. With your new endeavor. Thank you for unsubscribing. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I see what you did there. Well done. I like it. I am in favor of this newfound joke username. Whoa! I you may have inadvertently destroyed that train, train car. There's a helicopter up there. How am I supposed to fight that when I'm all mopey and sad? I don't want to hate helicopters. F failure at life has just subscribed. <laughs> failure at writing the word failure at life. Apparently. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> failure at life. Failure. I like the small F and then large F. How am I supposed to get past that guy? You're being all stealthy. Yoink. How can you be sad in a sombrero? Get together, Raiden. I know. Exactly. Here we have. Nobody music. respects a sad mariachi Apparently band. Apparently, I'm walking right towards these guys. You can't control them? I don't know. That's where the objective was. Can I even parry? Let's find out. Yep. No. Oh yeah, you do have the box. Can't parry. Don't care, you guys. I can't activate blade mode either. Like, Alright guys. This is crap. Go for it. Attack him while he's depressed. This is so stupid. Also, they won't. They apparently can't kill me. Oh, really? Are no. you invincible? I'm at point one, and now that guy's coming out. Stranjack has just subscribed. Stranjack, thank you for subscribing. Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you. Hey, look, I'm going through some shit right now. Okay, I don't have time to get into a duel to the death. How pleased you I have emotions. Who's that? My name is Monsoon, huh. of the Winds of Destruction. That is oh. a dumb-looking costume. Yeah. The Winds of Destruction. I've heard the of The New you. England Winds yes. of Destruction. 
The only Avalon has just subscribed. Oh, wow. The only Avalon. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You should... This guy comes pre-sliced for your convenience. Jeez, I feel like slicing this guy up into little bits isn't going to be very helpful. Okay. That's actually a legit awesome idea for a, mo <laughs> a bad guy. I love that. That's right. Doesn't that freak you out? Feasting on the this guy is your nemesis. Your enemies? Yeah. How can you cut which has already been cut? When it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? Uh, you are the uh, ones Superman? <laughs> Batman. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Graham, when you get camera control, look to the right. Okay. Kill or be killed, Jack. Which Phnom Pen taught me that? Phnom Pen? Phnom Pen. Phnom Pen. Yes. All right. Well. You are the only one to grow up on the killing field. Oh, I see. That War was... is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my soul. What am I looking for here? At this I don't world know. And all its people are those guys special dudes? No. No. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all humans, controlled by something greater. Means. The DNA of the soul. Ooh. Good thing this guy is so much uh, the talking to do. Gotta like, give you lots of time to expose someone get to your long enough. self centered. Give it a moment, watch that guy. What the? <laughs> they become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. All means. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do oh. it. Oh. Is that a meme? You can't fight uh, nature, Jack. You will die last. Rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <laughs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves yeah, lives. Yeah, he is a kind of a tool. Justice. Now there's a pretty oh. meme. Exquisite. That was the happiest it's I have ever been in my entire life. <laughs> Wait, I'm good by the way. guilt when you enjoy All right, that was awesome. Yeah, that's that really illustrate. Like, I feel like Platinum has very is captured the bizarre broken. Metal Gear Solid extreme seriousness ashamed. combined it's with odd comedy. Yeah. Course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. Ooh, he's got sigh. Nice. Well, he's You're wearing right. red, so that makes sense. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. I was wrong, haha. -ha. Then I remembered I had no lower job. by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself... That is a weird thing to be doing. Justice, yeah. yeah. About protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I like killing I learned freaky young people. That killing your enemies felt good. Really good. Super good. Mm. In America, Especially when they're filled with ice cream. Friends, my family. Extra bonus good. They helped me forget the devil inside. His name's Bob. But who am I kidding? I was Snake bored didn't help much for that. <sighs> Snake, useful in a lot of ways. The bit about my Not very good at helping you forget the devil inside. Just the stuff. I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? That just seems like it would but be difficult you, to move around. All this is a wake-up call like to what I really wading believe. Wading in very, what I very really thick am. mud. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. But oh. Yeah, I that's get, right. I better get a power-up out of this. Hmm. Oh. Well, I could have gone better. Jack was short lived. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? Uh, that's not a thing. It's madness! You do it! This is Sparta! What are you doing? Right. Ow! Ow! Whoa! Whoa! I forgot how much things hurt. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 
so much pain. Uh, uh, this is a very Dante move. Mm. This is my normal. Huh. My nature. Use Tylenol to get back to normal. Whatever your normal is. Apparently this is what it is. If your normal is slicing people into small bits while glowing red. So I guess he's not depressed anymore. That's good. No, I guess. Everyone's got their own ways of dealing with it. Yeah. You've kicked him in the balls after you chopped off his torso. This is me. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, him? <laughs> I'll take this dance. No, Sam. Report back to the chief. He's no, mine. no. We have to do this one at a time. Don't you know anything about video games? <laughs> Jeez. You're the boss. Can't have two bosses attack at I once. I judged you. You are like us after all. When he says you're the boss, he didn't mean you're just the boss. Nasty. The boss of me. He just <laughs> yeah. is like, well, you're the boss in this area. Yeah. So I guess you. That nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Excellent. Ripping. Why don't I give you a demonstration? Yeah, I can guess. Yeah. Okay. I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. Ow, my nose! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoa. Really? Smoke bombs? That's your thing? Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. He is very quick. Forget it. Didn't seem to be that hard to block, though. That's good. Whoops. Ow! Aha! I forgot about how I had the thing made of arms. Oh. Where are you? What? Back? Really? <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Alright, that was awesome. <laughs> you were like perfectly following him. Yeah. Yeah! You kind of suck. I'm assuming you have a different form or something. Well, he can go all wibbly, so... Ah. Oh no! He has a longer nose now. What? I also forgot to lock onto him. This one's on me! What the? Whoa. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's his... <laughs> his battle cry is left hand rule. <laughs> and magnetic power. That's awesome. Does he have to remember that while he does an attack or else something will mess up? Uh... Aha, see there he goes. He was... Whoops. Totally thought I got the timing on that, but apparently not. He's now... Yeah, see? Whoa! You're not hitting him anymore. No, because he's... That's so awesome. Whoa, I totally whoa, think whoa, that. whoa, whoa. I dodged some of that. He's basically Rayman. Nope. That doesn't work. He's going to be one of those things where you just got to stay out of his way yeah. until he does some specific move that leaves him vulnerable. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's awesome. You massive chump. Ow. He's totally Rayman. Oh no, he's setting his arms after you. No fair! What the? Ooh. Get away from me, wait, legs. Wait, it's on the ground. The stuff, his stuff fell on the ground there. Ah! I blocked one and then the follow-ups. I think that was the thing, like, you've got to do your parry and then it, the thing falls on the ground. Ah, apparently EM grenades. Oh yeah, that would make sense. But when you did a parry on him before, the thing fell on the ground and like, like, so that might give you an opportunity to smack it. Uh, wait. Uh, there. Haha. -ha. 
Nice. Oh, you have to... Whoa! So the idea is you have to, like... That didn't do very much damage to him, though. I think you gotta, like, break him apart and then hit the bits. I... It wanted me to aim at his head. I don't get it. Or I guess you... Oh, there we go. Well, why can't you do that now when you can before? I don't know. Whoa! He seems to be... Oh. Maybe it's only when he's, uh... When he's purple that he can dodge you. <laughs> Utopia of death. Hmm. Those kind of utopias aren't nearly as popular in, uh, you know, especially Jesus. in, like, science fiction. These actually seem very dangerous. You just chop them into little pieces. Yeah. And also you're picking up tons and tons of nanophase. Nanophase. And the MP units. So, so now that he's purple like that, you won't be able to hit him. Ah, good. Stop that. <laughs> He's Here. totally Raymaning! <laughs> Stop He's it! Kicking your butt! Alright, get his head. Nice, that did some damage. <laughs> alright, this guy is awesome. Uh, alright. What the? I did yeah. the. I threw the EMP grenade and didn't do anything that time. What did you? What the mothering hell? Logan's <laughs> He just has like memorized a bunch of vaguely magnetic oh, that, that words didn't work. that relate to magnetism. Right, that's just no. Nope. Ran right into it. It's just like a pile of crap. Talk about me in the past tense. See, look, there's all like the chunks, the chunks of Stop his that. arm are lying on the ground there. <laughs> the, his legs separating from his body, and coming to, coming yes. to fight you, is the best thing. Out of those things. You get some more eh? when he throws like vehicles at you. You were picking them up. That was a massive stun lock. Throw it! Christ! Stop stun locking me, you cheap bastard! No, I'm out of EMP grenades now. Okay. But when he throws uh, vehicles at you, one of the Why would you point me over there? God damn it. You're not close enough. Oh, that was bullshit. But you got yeah, he's gotta do the throw vehicles at you move so that you can refill. <laughs> so he's vulnerable now. Because he's not going purple. <laughs> Somebody should tell him that those things are supposed to be used for blocking. I believe that was a thing for like Gidge neutrals, but they're not technically a fighting or a uh, offensive weapon. But you know what? Who cares? Whoa! How many of those things are there down there? Enough. Yep, there you go. EMP grenade. See? Guy who was in the chat and said you don't get EMP grenades from vehicles. You were wrong and I was right. <laughs> and that's what counts. Yes. Oops. Oh. <laughs> nice. The whole giving you uh, repair nano paste halfway through the mission is super nice. 
throw the fucking thing, Raiden. Right? <laughs> just stand there. Uh, he's falling apart. There. Damn it! That's horseshit. If I don't nice. hit it on my first try, then he just starts dodging. 19%. He only has 0.3%. Oh. Nice, that was a good block. Cut you into pieces. This is my plastic fork. This is my laser sword. Oh, this stupid thing again. This one's on me! Yes, I know to take time when aiming my slice. I did it many times successfully before that. But if you miss once, then he's like, nope! <laughs> it's stuck behind the pillar. It, it, it doesn't break those pillars. That's interesting. Block this? Alright. Listen to things the internet tells you. Wow. Huh. That should not have worked. Uh, well, it didn't the second time. Stop throwing stuff at me. Stop hitting yourself. Wait a minute, that's a concrete block. I guess it's got, like, rebar inside it. Stupid magnetism. Uh-oh. It's got a pokey thing. What? It's a new thing? Oh, run out. Oh. Oh, tuck, 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 tuck. You're dead. What? Whoa. <laughs> By the way, quick time event that if you lose, you die. Sorry we didn't mention that earlier. Good. Oh, good. At least it's good. Hey, you're Bullshit. full life. Yeah. yeah, this guy is the uh, insane clown posse's ultimate enemy. Boom! Bullseye! Oh, look at that. You smashed him right into the middle of the. Uh... I don't much care for you. He's destroyed! And what would be totally amazing is if he came back later in the game having, like, retained all the slices that you put on him but, like, now in even more pieces. Yeah. But to actually, like, remember which pieces. Or be killed! Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You're mean. Wow. Here. Jack sounds so angry wow. now. I passed one. <laughs> to you. Sure That's Jack talking to you? Or not? Will rise. The slaughter will continue. Did you get his left arm? The no. sun slaughter. Now, I return to the earth. You sure you didn't come from we space? Know. Yeah. Memes, by the way, memes have been around. The concept of a meme has been around for a while. It's just an idea that spreads through. I believe it's, it was. It's not actually like cat pictures. I believe it was coined. It was coined in like a book by somebody in like the 70s, I think. Mm -hmm. Somebody will tell me. I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. Oh, right, I'll get the brains. Kevin. Oh yeah, I was stabbed in the stomach. Neat. I don't want this for anyone else. <laughs> yeah, Richard Dawkins. Uh, Dawkins, right. yeah. All right, man. Later. 
Not I did. I did see my match in the preliminaries of the 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 YouTuber tournament. I uh, there was a there was a glitch, which is shocking for a WWE game, and I tried to just leave the match halfway through. <laughs> I get out I of the ring and I just start running up the ramp and then just running in place against the entrance. I mean, to be fair, I feel like that's actually a realistic, <gasps> nice, a realistic portrayal of what somebody would do. It's like, holy crap, this looks dangerous. Run! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's customize Raiden's body. Mm, customize your body. Better ass. Tighter. Ooh, more strength. More absorption. Mm. That's what I'm really looking for. In a, in in a, a sword. In, in a, uh, yeah, in a cyborg is absorbency. <laughs> yeah. Because there's no good fighting people if you can't then uh, pick up a spill uh, of, whoop, like that. And if you have, if you're uh, absorbent enough, then you don't have to, so this will be super short range, right? I think. But it does generate a magnetic field. What does that do? I don't know. Let's find out. What does it just say? What does it say in the description? Oh, it just says the electrical current. Sorry, Hazza, I didn't see your question. Oh, it just means that it's more powerful because it's fancy. Ripper mode. Neat. Is that like you basically have like a power up mode now? Mm hmm. Essentially a grappling. Oh, okay. Well. A range stun attack. It's actually long range. Oh. Well, there you go. Doesn't actually have any attacks. I think it's time to ditch the mariachi outfit. What? Oh, how'd you like the song during the boss? It was fine, I guess. Yeah. I didn't actually notice it too much. No. Sorry. <laughs> you killed Monsoon. I'm impressed. The brains are in the server did, room undergoing training. Did you have an accent before? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Go, guys. That's the big guy. Okay. <laughs> Why are they telling you where the thing is? I don't much care for your upholstery. <laughs> I wanted a love seat! Alright, that's. Wait, turn one into a love seat. Oh, uh. What? <laughs> not quite how I. I told you I wanted a love seat! There! Either that or you're the, the disgruntled uh, uh, salesman who's oh, like. Our business hours for the day have ended. We are looking forward is she a to robot? your next. <laughs> I didn't do anything to the laptop, I just made it float. <laughs> equip new weapon, equip cardboard box. Oh, she is a robot, look. What the? What? No. Wow. For some reason, that's unnecessarily disturbing. Watch out! They keep on coming! What? Oh, I guess I may have alerted them by doing that. Reminds me of the uh, That's a grenade, yeah. music video uh, Anthem for the Year 2000 by Silverchair. Mm. Was it made before 2000? Yes. Is it overly optimistic? No. no hey, really. check it. That guy. What? He has a missile launcher on his back, yeah. but he's not just using it. <laughs> at, at two feet away from me. Yeah. I know, he's learned. They're getting smart. They're learning. Oh, you should try your side. Although that was pretty effective. Whoops. Noise. Ripper mode. You see that? Ripper yeah, mode. You see so apparently you go you can go Oh once you So it's like once you do a takedown then you can go into ripper mode, I Yeah, guess? and then I actually just chop them apart all the time. 
Oh, I see, and it burns your, uh... Oh, I see. It cool. burns your thingy magic. Your slow-mo. Fair enough. Nice. So it's just... it's There's any... Like, oh, crap. I thought for a sec that he was your buddy. Nope. Ah, there's two of them. Not okay. I'm sure these guys won't be quite as dangerous. Just like the um, the other version. These guys don't have the saw tails. Oh wait, they Whoop. have laser tails. Well, that, that better. I don't know. You have a uh, ripping. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now he's got no legs. Little doggy no legs. He's <laughs> yeah. got a really good aim. Whoops. Whoa, didn't dodge that per correctly. Mine. Alright. You should try out the side. Raiden, Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. But the other thing is at the bottom. Over here. All right. I'm trying to hit that thing. Apparently, the hmm. Psy is a long range weapon. That makes all the sense. Go. So the sundowner is on the top floor, but the brains are on the bottom floor. Mm, brains are in the server room. Didn't he say that was in the basement? I think. Server rooms are always in the basement. Except for. <laughs> I like the glass slices. The glass does not shatter. No. That is some safety glass. Server rooms are always in the basement except for in uh, Mission Impossible. Where it was on like the 57th floor or whatever. Stupid glass! I wonder if the Psy played Gangnam Style. Oh, nice. Terrible. Well, they ran out of arm puns with the arm thing, so... That's true. Now we've moved into side puns. Wow. You have many, many missiles. Quack, 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 quack. Why were we keeping our laptop in a glass case? <laughs> Is this like a retail store? What's happening? Go away, glass. I can't activate the laptop because all this glass is in the way. Ow, ow, broken glass. I'm trying to get the collectible, damn it. There. I just had to look away. <laughs> Don't look at me. I can't disappear while you're here. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? Oh, man. Okay, one. That's awesome. Two. Uh, why didn't the guys who were fighting you use that? I get the impression that you may have to, like, when you come back through here, there'll be a thing. In which case, those probably would have been useful. Oh well. The elevators appear to be disabled. <laughs> Sad muffin which we glass. Should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Hey, Wolf! Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. 
Ooh, or, splendid you know, idea. Go up and By all means, yes. ladder. Stairs. Um, it seems the gods are storming uh. the building. The gods are storming the building? Oh no. You can control them UGT as well, yes? Give them hell. I like this thing. Oh. Pretty sure this guy's like just standing right behind me. Yeah, there's a guy who came up the stairs being missed. Yeah. You can see his laser there. Oh no, that's those guys. Yeah, there we go. There's a guy behind me. I'll deal with him. I feel like... Whoa. There's a bunch of guys. Ah! Get the... There. I kind of want a gun that shoots swords. <laughs> I feel like that would be appropriate for this game. <laughs> wunderbar! My hack was a success! I now have Wunderbar! <laughs> now what about the elevators? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm work, still working on that. But I have a Wunderbar! It is so delicious! With the, uh... A fighter and so forth. <laughs> back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Oh, it brings me to them. Yeah. Get me over there isn't really what we were hoping for. Although. <laughs> Stop bouncing! There, nice. Take the time. That's cool that you still have your sword in your hand. <laughs> Imagine if like the, uh, you know, like some big office building in like Toronto, you know? Oh god. Like, Alright. Like the, uh... Later. You know, like the the uh, Toronto Dominion Bank or some big office building in downtown Toronto yeah. had two Gatling guns in the <laughs> in the lobby. Area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So Excuse me. Oh, oh I love this wonder bar. <laughs> but that elevator can only access the lower floors. I'm sure there's some sort of thing that you can eventually kill all the guys that show up in that room. And there's like a, uh, like a you get a bonus thing for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want to okay. fight well, these gorillas right now. The problem. Security cyborgs the would not have masters. sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate. Cut! We Sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you said cut and I just blacked out. Yeah. Cut! Yes, I can do that! I can cut things! That's that's me! That's I'm good there! Cut, 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 cut! In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. The 20th floor? The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the wall sphere. The wall is there. The wall is there? The wall is there. Oh, the wall is there. All the electrical panels. That's not an electrical panel, I guess. It's like, good job, Raiden, you destroyed a laundry chute. So, you know, good job on that. Ah, the security gate. It is composed of steel alloy bonded by a high frequency electrical current. It should unlock once the power has been cut. Okay. That is the first time they have given you a rationale for why you can't cut something. Right? Yes. Therefore, I think we can then assume anything you can't cut is composed of a steel alloy bonded by a electrical current. Mm-hmm. All those stairs and uh, trees, things that you can't cut. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. Anything you can't cut is composed of electrical, uh, 
metal alloy that bonded with an electrical current. Makes perfect sense. I knew there was a reason. I like that those are totally just, you know, they, they have those, uh, uh, they have the books on the shelves that just like came with the shelves. Mm -hmm. They just came with like a bunch of books attached to the shelf to make it look full. That's my boy. <laughs> of course. Yeah. He, he's watching the whole thing through your eyes on the off chance that you'll see something sexy. No. no. I was really trying to stealth that guy, but you got your uh, uh, the sigh. camera angles are very difficult. Sigh! I like the sound you make. Stop falling when I'm trying to hack your bits. It's like I get the thing with like when you go into hack oh. mode, everything moves in slow motion. Ah, fudge! And guys stay suspended in midair. But you staying suspended in midair and them falling doesn't help anything. No, that's weird. Ow. Uh. There. The only way to stop him firing his stupid missile launcher. <laughs> Cut his arm off. Use your enhanced AR. Jesus. That was actually, this is a much harder combat than I thought it would be. Mm. I'm not quite sure why. I think you basically aggroed everybody in this area at the same time. I know, but they're kicking my ass. I just used two, almost three full health packs. It's like, hmm. I wonder if there could be any unusual heat signatures around here. Maybe the guy shooting explosives would be a heat signature. Damn it. What the hell is that? Oh, that's that move. It's just weird to you have an fine uh, area. No? You're giving me the thing, telling me to do the thing, but I, they don't have their the guts. Thing. Their guts available. I really want to eat their guts. It looks so delicious. What's the point in having a spine? Well, I got an arm at least. Oh, nice. You haven't got anything from that yet, eh? I wonder how many arms you need before you actually get an upgrade. Stupid mini gecko. <laughs> They're still alive down there. Yeah. F. Fuck. Oh, did you just run out of battery? Oh. No, I dropped the controller. <laughs> we're okay, everybody. We're okay. Small controller malfunction. I dropped the controller from trying to do that stupid stick waggle. <laughs> Stick wagons. So him falling on his back is pretty funny. There. Much better. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll put you out of your misery. Now then. That was right. awful. There should oh. be an electrical panel yeah, nearby. Thanks. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Oh, at least the rest of this area will be relatively uh, oh. So right. that wasn't denoting electrical panels. Alright. Oh, maybe it was. No, that was a whole load of shit. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Something was unlocked that would sound like. I didn't see what it was though, because we were blocking it. Oh. 
Oh no, it's the collectibles. It's like you collected. Oh, okay. One of however many. All right. So AR. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Use your enhanced uh -huh. AR to search for any yeah, yes. okay, okay, okay. heat sources inside the wall sphere. What we're doing. Good. One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. I see one over there. This is positively relaxing. We're completely empty. Mm hmm. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Yes. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Definitely you, need a better cooldown on those comments. You can see through my eyes, right? Excellent. We've Jump established that. So you can see that I can see the thing. Keep on coming. What the? Another dude? Oh. We should try the side on this guy. Alright. Whoa! Two! Ow. Okay. Someone was telling me that it stunned them? That's not the case. It is not. This is not good. All right, that could have gone better. Yeah, that does not stun them at all. I don't know if it even does damage. I mean, it lets you get close to him fast, but... <laughs> Amazing Hobo says, This is definitely in my top three sword fighting focused Sombrero Cyborg Metal Gear games. Definitely. I would say in the top two, really. There's only uh, Metal Gear Sombrero would possibly be more. Not a lot of people have heard of that one. It was no. Released for Metal the, Gear uh, Solid, yeah. Sombrero, Sombrero Snake. Yeah, it was released for the Neo Geo in 92? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's had some pretty crazy cutscenes, but uh, the Sombrero Snake stuff was pretty good. That one you could actually hide inside your Sombrero. It was like a, a cardboard box that you just carried around with you all the time. It was pretty sweet. I see you there with Damn your it. glowing legs. You charge the side. Can you charge the side? I don't know. Let's find out. Nope. You can't. There's no other thing you can do. If I'm supposed to hold it down for a length of time, then that's not working. All right. Metal Gear Sombrero Tactical Espino. Espino. Like, if, if I push the button. Throw it. If I hold Oops. it down. <laughs> you whack that guy. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Oh, you're not dead yet? Jeez. Tactical Espino. Hmm, there is a difference, actually. What? Well, watch. If I just throw it, it's purple. If I hold it down, it's blue. Oh, yeah. Wonder what so that it's means. doing something different. Is it whether it pulls you towards it or whether it just whacks them, maybe? I guess. It can't actually... It sucks that it can't break things. Wait, no, now it's blue when I'm just pushing it. What the... Frilling poop. Okay, no, it doesn't make a difference. Why was it purple before then? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it has two color modes. Blue and purple. But it doesn't anymore. It, it what was the purple there for a sec. Why are you purple? Alright, I don't understand. Oh, I see. Does it, it just takes a while to charge back up again. It's purple again now? And yes. then it goes blue, right? And then... Purple. Oh. Oh! You just well, can only do different. it every... You can only just... You, you only just do it every once in a while. Huh. Okay. Presumably when it's purple it does more damage. Alright, you're looking for one more of those thingamadoodles? Yep. It's not there. Pretty sure I've been through here, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do the due diligence. Do the do. Oh, I thought that was a. Uh, there, that's, that that's there. leading to it, though. There, there it is. It was oh, it's behind room. a thing. Clever. Clever girl. Yes, 
That should take care of security. Now, head back to the gate. <laughs> Good hacking, right now. Ooh, it has got a big hammer. Alright, that was pretty effective. And now it's charged up again. Ah. Okay. That was pretty sweet. I dig it. Alright. So basically you do it, and then hack them for a while while it charges back up again. Yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear Fedora Tactical Neckbeard on Awkwardness. Dryden, shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, Meh. keep them off. I need it this way. Uh, well, right, Ryden, you you're talking in a weird I kind of growly voice. I turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you, well, your past is most. Uh, I mean, man, if I had a nickel time? for every guy I turned into a cyborg, yeah. I would have 25 cents. Men. Compared to the average third world child soldier, I can't really complain. <laughs> Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. <laughs> now, excuse me, yes. I have to go do my business. <laughs> uh, you don't do that anymore. What? Uh, that's part of the cyborg thing. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like then because something has been happening. This is crazy. No. You know what's crazy? I'm wearing a sombrero. That's crazy. And everyone's too polite to mention it. Oh, I'm not supposed to fight them? Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Keep moving, Raiden. In this one instance, you're not supposed to fight people for some weird reason. Why? I don't know. We just decided for this one bit you won't fight people. Because they have, you know, a Gatling gun. Yes, we know you've fought things with Gatling guns before. Yes, yes, we know you've fought more guys than this before. Open the door for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> There's nothing sadder. Whoa! Nothing sadder than a guy doing like a jump kick when you just run past him. Yeah. He's like, ha ha! Rah, what, what, hey, hey, wait, where are you going? Wow. Uh, they're, really, they're really destabilizing their building. I was gonna, if it wasn't for um, those like red energy shieldy thing the diggies that they put up when you have to fight guys, uh, it's slightly concerning, I guess, how well this works. It's just like, oh right, I can right. run really, really fast. Why don't I just run past everybody? Oh, now I have to fight. The time for fighting has come. Why is it now? Mm -hmm. Why not? You need to fight one of these guys. Your old friend. I feel like this guy might be more of a... hand job. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. Ow! Ow! Alright. Stop that. No shield plates for you. Oh yeah, you do have that ripper mode thing if you get... Well, you don't have it right now. But if you can get a special thing so you can charge up. That would be handy. That would be handy. <laughs> they just kind of sat down. Yeah. It's like, I'm tired now. Oh, Right, I always forget that. The double tap. It always fucks me up, because it goes out of slow-mo. And then yeah. it's like, go into slow-mo again, but don't actually stop holding down the slow-mo yeah. button. Uh, oh, you have to, like, jump on them? Or... I 
I'm pushing forward. Sort of like rocket jumping, I guess. Really? Why did we do the whole thing with the elevator? Yeah. Why did I even? Why didn't I just run up the outside of the building as soon as I got here? Yeah. Why are we inside the building at all? You know what would have been way better? Run up the side of the building from the outside, and before anyone knew I was there, smash them in. Oh, damn it. So that was exciting. This is sad. Now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. Elitist. You should find an indoor garden. The latest security data. A garden. Yeah. Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. Culture. All right. Enthusiast. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Somebody said, you need you're gonna hate this part, Graham, I can feel it, and then... Oh, he just aced it. Never mind. <laughs> I guess they're running up the wall, the building is difficult. Good job. Thank you. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the that garden. That doesn't... I know English isn't your first language, but that's not how that works. Great work, elementary, my dear Raiden. No, 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 no. That's not... what? Yeah, it's like... There are very, very few situations where you should use that in which you're not actually actively engaged in a production of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> but yeah. I like the... the running up the wall is That's cool. That's impressive. But you really just should have done it at the beginning. I like that you can see the, the the actual ceiling with the lights and stuff. Yeah, I like how how much effort they put in so that you can have a fight with cherry blossoms falling all around you. It's like, all right, we need a cherry blossom fight. Why? Because it looks cool. Well, he's in a big building. That doesn't make any sense. All right, we'll have a garden in the middle of the building. <laughs> what? Why? That isn't what? It'll be fine. Really? Sherlock Holmes never said it? Is that one of those stupid things where it's yeah. like... God damn it. More people should say the things that they're actually quoted as saying. It would just make everything a lot smoother. People keep forgetting... It's... It, it's he, I, I believe it's he said something like... Like, why it's elementary, Watson. Oh, he says like, elementary, why, but not... I, I, I believe the, so. The quote is... It's like... It's like, yeah, Luke, actual, I'm your father. Yeah, it's, the it's actual like, elementary, my dear Watson, was never actually said as such. Right. But yeah, it's the... It's like, it's amazing how often in books and movies what? and things, the people forget to put in the really uh, quotable line. People have to just kind of make it up. Yeah, exactly. The same with Play It Again, the same. Yeah. And, uh... Luke, I'm your father. Yeah. Which is way better. I mean, the actual line is, "No, I am your father," which is probably better in context. But as a quote, it's lame. Yeah, no, I am your father. Ooh, Monday Night Commander, nice. Home says elementary and my dear Watson separately in canon, but never together. Ah. But in adaptations like plays, TV, and movies, he said it. So, well, I'd say, at that point, I'd say it counts then. Yeah, I mean, if you're, I guess. Depends on... Like, you don't want to have to... You don't want to, you don't want to get to a situation where you say, Elementary, my dear Watson, and someone's like, you know Sherlock Holmes never actually said that, and then you have to be like, well, actually, I'm quoting this adaptation of it, because then everyone ends up looking stupid. Basically, what we're saying is that whenever you do that, whenever you say, Elementary, my dear Watson, uh, well, yeah, you have to actually say, as Sherlock Holmes said in the 1945 play, uh, yeah. Sherlock Holmes and the case of the mysterious... Whatever... But <laughs> were basically, them, everyone just needs to politely understand the intent. Yeah. Whoa, this guy's really strong. Holy rather, crap. Rather than trying to like win random points, they're like, "Aha! I know something that you don't know." Really? I didn't get the thing for that. I really wanted the thing. The case of the mysterious case arm, I guess, which is cool, but I really wanted his guts. Uh, oh. 
uh, Chemico, we do indeed have a Wii U here. Although, I believe it has not been plugged in. No, no, it has. Er, wait, I don't know. We were we were talking about doing, um, for Crossing the Streams, actually, we were yeah. talking about playing... Um, doing Mario or something. Uh, the four-player Mario, which I think we might do uh, as the next one. We might do four-player couch co-op. Um, so, but uh, someone was asking of Bayonetta 2, which could yeah. also be fun. Um, although, we'd probably give it a rest between this. It's got to be the biggest, oldest cherry trees ever. Not anymore, they yeah, suck, Sucks for your cherry tree. Cherry trees, I guess. Yeah, it must have really sucked to transplant them here. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I can see us doing Bandetta 1 or 2, uh, but it certainly won't be right after this. <laughs> Being is, it's a, quite a. I mean, obviously different visually, but gameplay fairly similar. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. Uh, the have you seen the sword I have? To a corridor meant for it's very, very good at cutting things. You can take that to the elevator. Have... Didn't we just establish that I don't need an elevator? Just tell me where to go. I will jump there. Or run up the wall or do something crazy. Evolve might be pretty awesome too. I don't know quite how it works. But... Um, I was thinking about with the, for the, um, there we go. Uh, oh, for like, so if we fun. were, if we were playing a, uh, uh, you know, some, the Mario game or the, or some game with the, that actually uses the Wii pad, um, we could figure out, work up some sort of, uh, picture in picture screen, uh, so that, so people could actually see the Wii pad, which would be good. We've got that little uh, webcam. Maybe we could like attach it to the Wii Pad somehow. That'd be mm -hmm. interesting. The fuck where'd that guy go? He's right there. Isn't he? Oh nope, he's right there. <laughs> Not okay. Whoa! He's, he's remarkably stealthy for a nine-foot-tall gorilla monster. <laughs> fair. Dodging? No, that he just... I was trying to sneak up on him and he just jumped out of nowhere. Ow! Man. We think the roofs of these places are very well made. Well made. Fucking... <laughs> Stay I'm still! To, I'm trying to stun you, you bastard. Stay still, I want to slice you. Oh my god, there's three of them. I wasn't charged up. Well, what the hell? I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, by the way. Oh, you're out of things. Yeah. This is Any good. Die. You know, that kind of negative thinking ain't gonna get you anywhere. You are going to live! Ha! Ah, didn't expect that, eh? Mid-air blocking action. Hope you didn't need that arm. Because you up, ain't got it no more. Up there. Get up on the roof. <laughs> get the fuck up there, right? God <laughs> damn it. Don't just sit in the corner spinning. Up there. God fuck. That's so annoying. He either can't get up, or he goes up so quickly that he runs right over the thing. <laughs> Worst camera angles ever. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm gonna try and sneak up on that guy this time. Oh yeah, you do also have rockets. I know. And a box. They ain't found shit. What are you talking about, Doc? Oh, and you also do have your uh, overdrive fancy mode, too. Mm -hmm. right? Jay Bread, what did it look like I was trying to do? 
I was trying to get on the box, but thank you for thank you for trying to help. Ow! Whoa! That was some jump. Nice. Okay, so that did stun him. Very much doubt you can get through there. Wow. That stunned him real good. You can take that to the elevator. <laughs> I want the, just once I want the doctor to be like, come on. Okay, what do you have to do in this? Oh my god, they're attacking you! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no, this is their scary! <laughs> hey, Ripper mode was a waste of. Oh, they like knocked you out just as you used it. Yeah. Oh. Bad touching. So much hugging. Oh, he didn't mean jump on the box. He meant use the cardboard box. I don't see the how that's going to help me in this situation. No. You, have, you can't use the cardboard box when people are already mad at you. They don't work that way. Well, I assume he meant before, but it's like I can't actually get through. Die again. All oh, right, because you, now you, now you keep starting without any stuff. Um, use your uh, fancy vision to see if there's any power-ups around, like any any boxes that you can s s grab stuff out of. I think I could just leave. No. Made. It's sort of a power up. Ah, I think. Damn it! <laughs> okay, right. remember where that thing is. It's in the corner there. Then kill them, then go stealthy box. That doesn't work. If you raise the alert, the box doesn't doesn't work. Alright, so rather than Are the April Fool's drafts only available tomorrow? Rather than All right, so tr I guess the try, I guess you could try doing this stealthy style. I'll try it. With the box or the um, oil drum or whatever. So there's that dude right there. And there's more dudes in the there. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. Bah! They found you! Damn it. All right, well, I see that that is theoretically an option so uh, just gonna restart yeah let's let's try that all right oh they've already started oh okay how long are the April Fool's drafts around so it's still Tuesday oh that's tomorrow though. so remember about that um, that there's a, a power-up or a, a like a health pack so there's a dude right there you can get quickly <laughs> Stealthy. Stealthy. Stealth missile launcher. The main exit is sealed. I very much also, doubt you can get through there. The great benefit the with this is, of course, to a corridor, a you're a box with a sombrero materials. on it. Mm -hmm. You can take that to the elevator. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that wasn't a death. It's also a good point, so I'm saying the this the polar might be the better move on this one. Mm. Cool. Alright, if you just wait on this corner for him to come back around. That's my plan. You can see on your little corner map there. Doopa doopa doo. Was that sombrero box always? Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> good. Oh, you're not gonna attack that guy? No. Well you can like stealth kill him. That's true, but I'm just trying to get out of here. Don't you have to... oh. Okay. You have to go pop, though, I... I believe so. Nice. You are so cat-like. 
So it's, you have to get under that catwalk there. Alright, follow the catwalk oh. straight ahead to reach the elevator. Oh, that was way easier. <laughs> well Later. done, sir. Later, suckers. Stealth wins the day. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. <laughs> then that what? is your true nature. More Stop talking in that silly voice. Still interested? It's not your true nature. I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. <laughs> it is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. <laughs> okay. Guess so. Yeah. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, I like that's the, what you feel. The only they person that really understands you and Roger. can you give you emotional advice is a dog. <laughs> You know, dog, you bring up a lot of good points. You really have made me think. Mm hmm. <coughs> nice. All right. All right. Stealth kill this guy, I think. Mm -hmm. Hope the guy in the other room doesn't see it through the glass. <laughs> Boom! That's right. Oh, I like that he just took off like his head and shoulders in one piece. Oh my God! This. Uh, oh. So I thought it was something. I forget it. Hey, somebody left their sombrero on this is that oil a, drum here. Is, is, that, that, is that yours? Is that anybody's? No? All right. No? Fuck it. I'm taking this sombrero. Yeah. <laughs> Slice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like that the, like you, the place where you initially got the oil drum had lots of oil drums. This is not really a place where an oil drum fits in. <laughs> Your running doesn't actually make any noise, right? Apparently not. Mm. Man. This newfound stealth thing is not such a bad idea. Is that the only other guy in the room? I think so. It is. I'm still mm. just gonna I'm gonna wait and make sure. For some reason, he appears to be really intent on watching that door. It's like, all right, this is my job, this door. That other guy's watching my back, so I better watch this door. No need to turn around ever. Oh, man. <laughs> he knocked him to his back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> an arm off that guy too. Nice. Did you actually get the arm? Nice. I like <laughs> that guy. You know, if they were able to reconstitute, if like his head was still there and they were able to like hook it in and be like, okay, what happened? Okay, so there was this oil drum and then it had a sword. I think. It, it all happened very quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what we're looking for is an oil drum. Uh, Yeah. And is it just me or anytime there's an elevator like this in a video game, 
you'll always have to fight waves of enemies. Yeah. All right, I want to try something. Ooh, you went into super mode? Damn it! Oh, shouldn't have done it. All right, that's that's super annoying. That it doesn't actually stop you from getting knocked out. It doesn't stop you from getting stun locked and wasting all your slow mo. Yeah, that's right. Really... Jeez, those are full size geckos, not even the little mini ones. Nope. Why isn't that guy dead? <laughs> Give me the thing! Give me the thing! You give me the, the thing! Oh my uh, god! You hit it like so many times! Uh. Ow! No! Nice! Dude, it's a good thing it's a big elevator. Did I just make it throw up? I think you may have. Hmm. You do try EMP grenades in these guys. Yeah. Nope. Hang on. There. Well, I only hit one of them apparently. Not quite sure how that worked, but here we are. Haha, you took out the gun on its top right. they've never used. What? What? Oh. I didn't realize I was dying there. <sighs> ah, yes, has it. Thank you. Offensive defense. Did we ever actually figure out how that worked? See, Major Cade, people were telling me differently. Which is why I didn't do that initially. Wait. Uh, the just mashing attack. Um, randomizes the direction that if you're going, if you're trying to cut the thing out, you, you actually want to take your time and line up on it. So I was doing that, and people were yelling at me for, uh, they were saying just spam it and it'll work out fine. So here we are. Is this what you get for talking to people on the internet? That's what I get for ever listening to anybody. It's true. Give me your guts. Nice. Thank you. That worked out well. You too, no? And now, you've got full for these guys. Oh, that does stun them. Hmm, that's actually pretty good. It's charged up again. Now, what the? Now it discharged. Huh. I think it discharges if I get hit, which I, I don't... Ooh, uh, that makes sense. Think? Oh. Well, it doesn't make sense. But. <laughs> I don't much care for it. Put it that way. I uh, don't much care, don't much care for it at all. Well, you're still doing way better than you did before. Friggin' come on, charge up. Hey. Yep, tried to dodge that one. Is there something about a giant mech whose main attack is just jumping on you? <laughs> Ha! If I ever get hit by one of the red sparkly things, just assume that I was indeed trying to dodge it and just didn't succeed. Yes. It is not for lack of trying. <laughs> yeah. Aha! Nice. I like the throwing up. That... It's off the top of the screen. That's not fair. Well, I killed it. Oh, you got a thing. Why are 47,000 people watching RuneScape? Mm -hmm. Is there a, an event or something today? I don't know, maybe? Is RuneScape fun? I don't know. I think the real question is why aren't there 47,000 people watching uh, Merigur for Vengeance? <laughs> well, I, cl I, Sushi. I killed him into tiny pieces, so Me there's too. that. How tall is this building? Another freight platform. Wait, what? Oh, come on, really? Have to jump from one to the other? Look out! Incoming! No, of course not. 
least they didn't just fall from the ceiling again. Yeah. Why did you? F. Frig. I feel like them blocking your blocking your attacks with their swords seems very silly considering what you can cut through with your sword. With their shields, you mean? Yeah. Or? No, no, with their sword. Like oh, they can yeah. block you with their sword too. Is their sword made out of the same crazy electrical stuff as your sword? I don't know. Maybe. Please die. There, good. Give me that. Delicious. Now, you. Whoa. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. King Jane says, I tried RuneScape a little while ago because a friend said it had gotten better. We are no longer friends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That bad, huh? Uh, that's harsh, but fair. Yeah. Really, you can't stay friends with somebody who you don't agree with on everything. It's just not a workable relationship. Literally everything. Yeah. There is no room for debate among friends. No room for sarcasm either. Hmm. All of the RuneScape channels have their statuses set to being view botted. So I guess that's some sort of weird not real viewers thing. I don't know, maybe there's somebody trying to game the system? push themselves higher up the rankings by making it look like they already have too many viewers. Interesting. I didn't even know, know what... I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know what being viewbot it is. I mean, I can infer, but I didn't even know that was a thing on Twitch. Yeah, I mean, I could see how it could be done. And I guess the advantage would be that it would move you up the rankings. Or, like, so that you're on, like, the first page or whatever. But it seems kind of weird. Stab, stab, kick, and slice. There we go. That's true. It could be something to do with April Fools. Maybe. Apparently, did you see uh, Google has done their first April Fools thing this year? Already? So yeah. Wow. What is uh, it? Well, it. For hell's sake. I was wondering what that thing was doing. Uh, I, From what I believe, it's something, it's like. It's basically like um, Google Maps Pokemon. Uh, I think it's that there's a bunch of they've hidden a bunch of Pokemon all around on in random places on Google Maps, and you have to find them. I did like the uh, the pirate or the treasure map or whatever. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I will try to be more careful of uh, the elevator. about having people shoot me with missile launchers. Beg your pardon? You heard me. The shaft! The shaft is being blocked! I like the tripods. They have a certain appeal to them. They're just sort of like a universal thing. They can be used for all sorts of different purposes. Mm -hmm. And it really makes actually a pretty compelling argument why that three, like, the three arms is actually a pretty good configuration. What the? Whoa, I got more than one there. Nice. I don't, if, I, if I was able to do that before, I don't know how. That's pretty cool, though. You just hit two guys at once, or do you actually got more think, than one yeah. spine out of the same thing? No, I got I hit two guys sense. at once. <laughs> it's like, you have two spines? What? How did that happen? Who allowed this? Oh. Jump! Oh, too late. Alright, guess I'm dying now. Oh, I see. No, you have, you, they keep coming. Up, I right? see, okay, okay, okay. So you have to keep fighting until they come. We're gonna kill all of these guys, and then when they catch up. Haha! <laughs> Bye, can we, sucker! Can we blow up now? Is it. We're good? Alright, blow up! Go for it! Go! Hey, hey, nice. nice. I'll take it. Hey! hey. This is a very tall building! 
you pass through the server Considering this, right you started moment. this having already run up a long way on. <laughs> yeah, this is a very tall building. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid hammer time has passed. You missed it. It was really nice. Uh, we had, it was great. We had little hammer shaped cookies. Uh, sandwiches Stop. cut to the shape of Stop hammers. Unlocking me. Uh, but no, I'm afraid hammer time now has passed. It is no longer hammer time. Your services are no longer required. I don't like that it can reset what enemy you're locked onto when you haven't killed the first enemy. Hmm. We got a hand for him. Did it? Yeah. One of the one of the green ones? I think so. Maybe not. I just get confused when it's like it marks off left hand, but then nothing happens with it. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. I have no idea what just happened there. That side is quite cool, actually. No, 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 no. Stupid gorillas, man. These guys are nasty. Damn it. Hey, we hit the ow. Wait, I was wasn't it just here? That? Screw you. You take the elevator up and then down again? I don't know. What is this box is filled with? Squares. They're filled with like egg cartons. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, now I want you to get up to the very top of this building after all this time. And then like do an awesome swan dive from the ceiling. From the from the roof of the building. Come on, lock onto the there we go. That takes like five minutes for you to fall. No no no. Do it better. Maybe not. Oh for hell, come on. Ugh. Ah, I really wanted that. I hate when it you can't actually you can't actually turn the camera that way. Yeah. Nice. It's very annoying. Yeah, the camera positioning seems to be it's one of those things where it's like it's doing the thing where it's like you know, we don't want to overcomplicate things by making people position the camera a lot. So what we'll do is we'll just have it automatically positioned. But then, if they don't get the automatic positioning correct, then it totally messes it up. Nice. That stun is actually quite handy. Actually, yeah. I would not put it past this game to have, there like, an entire boss fight. Uh, just you falling off this building and, <laughs> like, the two of you fighting. <laughs> for like 20 minutes. The 50, someone says 53 represents 53 kilometers. Yeah, that is, this is definitely not floor 53. I have been to the 55th floor, or 53rd floor of a building. It did not take that long. And that elevator was going pretty fast. Yeah. He has glowing arms. How about we look at him? Maybe that would be I a will. thing? I will. I'm just trying to... Nice. I'm trying to use the wall. The wall is my friend. Whoop! No. <laughs> totally thought I was going to get away with that one. Mm, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hammoth, uh, we definitely have upgraded the sword power a few times. Although, you should probably take a look at what upgrades you have currently available. Because you're all about the battle points right now. Yeah. Damn it. You have no arms! Stop fighting! No, he still has an arm. He's got a stub of an arm. True. That's not an arm. And he I'm, can trying to, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... He's just kicking you now. I know, I'm trying to get his... I'm trying to get his life thing. There. That's what I wanted to do. You 
chump. Ah, there was something behind those boxes. Nice. All right, uh, yeah, see, see uh, what you can get for your battle points, because you've got a butt ton of those right now. Once I get the next checkpoint, because you restart from checkpoints once you upgrade. Oh, right, right, right. That wasn't a checkpoint just then? I don't know. I would have thought when you get, like, the little thing. Ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should Imagine I Imagine how long the cables from the server room to the rest of the building are. <laughs> <laughs> That's like it's gonna take it takes like a minute for electricity to go up and down. Oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, Lord Haas says 237 floors. What he counted? But no doubt it makes a convenient view for me. Yeah, because you can because you can see the floors go by in that elevator. Yeah. yeah. Like how and you can see the floors go by. So yeah, maybe you won't be able to do it here, but when the replay of this goes why up don't on Why don't I have a sombrero suitably epic? <laughs> why shouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, you do have one. Yeah. It's a disguise, duh. Nobody knows who he is. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, I have looked at many of them. That's where Sundowner is waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security. That's true, yeah. This is not 100 base to Ethernet only is supposed to go 100 I meters. I would say he but they'd, they'd have to have, like, booster have things all the way down. Whatever yeah. he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. <laughs> oh. The 237 was back when I said, how tall is this building? That was like halfway through the elevator ride. Yeah. All right. When this goes up on YouTube as the replay, mm -hmm. so you can look at it like frame by frame or slow-mo or whatever, we should actually try to figure out, try to calculate how tall this building is based on... Because you see the floors go by in the elevator on, on the, when you're in the big elevator, and you see the floors go by when you're running up the outside of the building. Yeah. So theoretically, you should be able to figure it out at least within, you know... 10 or 15 floors. I think that'd be pretty entertaining. We should actually take a take a break. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking that. I'm going to upgrade my... Oh, you don't have that many options. But you might as well. you got tons of kind of stuff. So you might as well use it. There. My sword is now... Maximumed. As is this. As is this. Wow. Skills. There's all stuff. sorts of skills you could get, but I mean, I still feel yeah. I mean, the problem with the skills is that then I have to do them. Then you have to do them. Actually, I thought for a sec that was a sheep kick. <laughs> That's like a sheep kick. That's gotta be good. Hmm. There's no special. Falling lightning. Hmm. I like that you get new. Yeah, let's leave it there for now. You get new uh, abilities by upgrading your firmware. Mm -hmm. It's like doop doop doop. You have to do like the reboot. Have to sit there and yeah. And really hope nobody unplugs you while you're doing it. Yeah. All right, quick break. Quick break for some commercials and bathrooms and uh, we'll be right back with more of uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance in about three minutes or so. Be or so. right back. We found our hat. Hello. Uh, we want seemed appropriate. Yeah. We wanted to play um, uh, an ad of our very own real quick. For those of you who might not have heard of it. I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to go to a different scene just for one second while I set something up. Uh, you can still hear us. This is an ad for a thing that we're doing called Lurcon uh, on May 10th. And the reason, ah, the reason that I'm putting this on the screen will be apparent momentarily. Okay, do that, and then this, and then I wanted to play you guys Hello, this. Graham and Paul here. 
Now you see us every week on the internet, but do you want to see us in person without having to hide in the bushes with a telescope? Well, you're in luck. To celebrate our 10th season and the Year of Lure, we're announcing LureCon. So come join us at the Doubletree Hotel in Seattle on May 10th for a day of comedy, gaming, hanging out with the Loading Ready Run crew, and a variety show featuring some of our wonderful and talented friends. Tickets are $25 and they're available from Brown Paper Tickets. Just follow the link on this page. And if you're from out of Make town, sure you know follow the link on this page to get cheap rates on hotel rooms. Stay tuned for more information as we get everything locked down. But until then, we hope to see you in May. Haha. -ha. <laughs> and now we actually know who's going to be uh, coming. Yeah, we're going to have um, Chris Straub and Kyle Stevens from Kirby Crackle and the Double Clicks and the Seattle uh, Nerd Prov. Uh, group and we're gonna some of us are gonna join them for the improvising and uh, Yeah, it's gonna be fun stuff and it's gonna be a games room full of games and magic and board games and stuff that To play in and we will be playing in there as well, and we're gonna have a gonna do a pub trivia quiz mm -hmm. and um, We're gonna do like a screening and Q&A thing and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun so. uh, I've encountered a problem <laughs> Maybe do it, like, maybe have the headphones like this. Like, street style. Like, not backwards. There you go. <laughs> eh. Is that going to work? <laughs> Speaking of Chris Straub. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see Chris's latest, uh, latest project that he's, yeah. that he, that he's producing. He's, I uh, hear he's doing it on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Chris and Marlo, and uh, I can't wait to see what they come up with. I'm sure it'll be great. But no, seriously, he's having a kid, and that's awesome. Graham, where did Paul go? I don't know, Raiden's here with me. <laughs> hey, just invisible when you're wearing the sombrero. Can you put the hat on top of the headphones? Or is it, not, is it too small? What, what? the? Miss Charles. She's... No, a spare body. If I had to guess, it's like controlled by an AI. What? What? I don't know. This isn't one of those like fight all the bosses again things, is it? That also doesn't work. All right. Fundamental problem with the sombrero. Uh. That's true. This is what it would look like if it was Raiden hiding inside me. What the? Why did I not have a secondary thing equipped? That's dumb. I did not target that thing. Yeah, you can hit her with her own weapon. I can, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to hit her with this thing. Nice. You really. Didn't stun her for very long. Ah, huh? oh, shoot. No! Stop changing what I'm targeting! That's really annoying! Alright. This is not working. There! That works good. Neck phones sort of works, except these don't have the hooks on them. I need those other headphones. There really have been like three bosses so far in this game. No, two bosses, no, three. Now that she's like an AI controlled robot or something, she's not, you know, weirdly flirting with you. Yeah. Well, that was fun. What the? Oh, of course. And the spell on Sook? Well, if it's AI controlled, it should pose no problem for you, yes? Yeah? 
God damn it. I mean, he did fight Monsoon again, which is kind of what I was hoping, but he's not all chopped up. How's he gonna throw helicopters at you here? Also, I like I just fought this guy. This is really dumb. Yeah. You're doing a lot better in blocking him, though. Yeah. I wonder if he actually is like slower than he was in the last fight. Right. Even you can't even use that to stun him, right? I right. can. Get your head. This is BD Monsoon. Body Devil Monsoon. Yeah. Oops, wrong way. Alright, new plan. Ow, stop stabbing. Floating like that without his legs. <laughs> there we go. It's a perfect likeness. Hello, I am riding. Wait a minute, he doesn't say that, but he's a bot. Now what do I have to fight? Body double you! Hey, Kathleen. How's it going? Somebody somebody messaged me on Twitter wondering if a sombrero was being worn, so I came to rectify the situation, but I see it's already acceptable. The problem is that uh, uh, you can't wear the sombrero and headphones at the same time. Well, I'm going to do something for you guys. Open the window? Yes. Please do. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. It is true. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too Andrew. complicated. Doing it virtually, though, no fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. <laughs> it's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> Good stay, camera. They enjoy it. We give their pleasure centers a nice big All right, fine. I'm not going to look at you because the camera won't let me. Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. I think all people are by nature. Why does he have to be because so growly now? He sounds so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Start thinking it's like this. I'm jacking it. That's immoral. War crime this. 
code of conduct. That kids. <laughs> what a great kid. <laughs> Manipulate nice. performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't That's why I'm shutting you down. Here. Say you bring this whole place down. Bolts out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Why is it changes? Wait, is the server room also all the brain room? In yeah. Charge are long gone. Oh. We've got offices around the world. That's a lot of brains. Yeah. You can see who's the Why brain of the survive? operation. Why do they squeak? We don't create the I don't know. The also, brain. The... Why do they give them eyes? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just manage the war economy. Don't you get it? They didn't invent it. There's somebody even Did more secret than the Patriots. Was all part of it's people. the Wibble Wibble. Conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Uh, fight war reality. with wars. Yeah. Uh, yeah war just happens. I mean, why fight it? Like the good old days after 9/11. Too soon. Too soon. Maybe. Hosk. I don't know. I don't know what date it is. Possibly too soon. Hosk, those links don't work because it Twitch interpreted part of it as a smiley face. <laughs> Get sundowner. Do not lose him this time. His name is Sunday. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't lose him this time. When did you lose him before? Uh, when he killed the president guy. Oh, right, on the... Um, on the train. On the train. Right, you still haven't fought What's-His-Face again. The guy who cut you open into little pieces. Antonio Banderas? Yeah. yeah. Who cut you into pieces. As oh. his last resort. Yeah. Oh, this is convenient. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> How's this <chat>? Nice. <laughs> we can play up here without Oscar damage to the Nice. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And what about Mach 3? Take some time. Slow and painful. Wait. That's not good. Maybe killing me is going to be slow and painful for you! Yeah, you ever thought of that? This looks like it's going to be annoying. What the hell? Like said, is he solar powered? <laughs> cool, Jack. And I'm very in touch with my inner child. <laughs> <laughs> so those would be like armor things that have to be up first, isn't it? You can be cooler than that, Jack. I haven't done anything yet. Whoa! Nice. Okay. Objective: defeat the bad guy. Huh. That pretty well. Close him up. Right. Keep your blade away from the shield. Explosive armor. That just doesn't seem like a good idea. Then it explodes. Damn it. Damn it. Ooh. Maybe you can drop you gotta do a fancy thing. You gotta do a slow mo move. Would begging for my life really do anything? I mean, be honest. That's evil to put it in the middle of your, uh, like, you're just kind of get your groove on with wacky and then he does that. Be very careful. Nice! I, I, I effed that up somehow. Well, you have to hit him in the right spot. When yeah, but I couldn't see it because I was too close to him. Yeah. But that was a good, uh... Yeah. It was a good, like, a reversal on him. Ah, damn it. I'm always in the middle yes. of a combo when he puts that up. It's true. It's true. Explosive armor is a thing. Yeah. It's not supposed to be against swords, though. It's 
you to like blow up a missile before it gets to you. Right? Damn it! I I stopped. I stopped the combo like well before he put that up. <laughs> but Raiden was still going. Whatever, Raiden just Raiden. doesn't know where to stop. I like using the side. Haha! So you have to. Oh, for fuck's sake! You have to go over there and and hit it at the right spot, like that. Oh, what? Oh, missed this. Wait, the your your super cybernetic body analyzed it and figured out that you have to hit it in the seam between them. That doesn't sound so tough. What's wrong? Answer me. Guidance. Really? Damn it. You're doing pretty good there. I know. Alright, here we go. You can be cooler than that, Jack. Haha. Nope, oh, too much. Ew, why would you do that? This just seems unsanitary. Keep your blade away from that chip. I got too excited. <laughs> your body should analyze it for you. Show you where to attack so it does not detonate. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his gun. <laughs> Oh, what? It's different. Yeah, it's different each time. Yeah. But I've broken some of it off. Nope, I haven't. It came back. That's annoying. It's like the watchword of this game. That's annoying. <laughs> Just waiting for him to drop that so I can hit him again. Okay, I don't have enough. Haha! Yeah, I was supposed to hold it down for longer. Explosive armor is nano machines. It's true. Everything is nano machines in this game. Yep. Yeah. It's the equivalent of a wizard game. Ah, there. What? Uh, Fudge. So you have to avoid him there, too. Ow. Okay, don't stand behind him. It's a bad idea. And then... There. there. No, you have to do it without hitting the panels. I can't. It's Can a... No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, I don't actually have enough slow mo. Like I, like I see what it's trying to tell me to do. No, I do not target the helicopter. Can you attack the helicopter? Okay. Ah, oh, shit! I was right there and I moved. Okay, well that was a fun boss fight. Yeah. There you go. There. A little hard fought. But that's really, no, that's really challenging. All right. Well, you got rid of one of his arms. <laughs> Ooh, it's a ghost. Uh, yeah. You you could you go after the uh, helicopter. Jack. The helicopter gives me healing, apparently. Oh. That would be a good thing. Also, it just keeps shooting missiles at you, which is annoying. Good start, good start. 
Okay, I'm not gonna do it this time. Whoops. Thanks. Nice. Nope, that wasn't. Can you get the helicopter? Damn it. This is where you need most of them. It's really difficult to get more than one. But you got one. That's good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, go up to the helicopter. If you get healing on him, that would be good. Can't target helicopter. Except sometimes you tell target the helicopter when you didn't like to. I know! Come on, try Damn it. Oh, that is out of range. Maybe he has to fly like he flies over the thing at some point. No. Nope. All right. Apparently okay. Not. I just can't attack the helicopters, even though sometimes I would target them by accident. So that's awesome. Maybe I guess maybe they fly across the thing at some like there's some time we were able or are able to hit them. Oh, yeah, you do have rockets and stuff. Like that. It's true. There we go. Ah. Oh, or not. Okay, or not. <laughs> the time for the cardboard box has passed. Right. This is more kind of a fact finding mission. Yeah. Yeah, you can block their yeah. missiles, that's cool. Still no option to target. Yeah. Did that give you anything? What happened? It just disappeared. Yeah. Well, you can't it doesn't attack you anymore, which is good. But I was hoping I would give you something cool. Can't get away from that one in time. No, you can't. You can't outrun that. Pro tip. All right. All right. You should just start like killing that helicopter with the missile launcher was super easy. Yeah. Like you should just start blow it up and then you went just so you don't have to worry. About I'm sure it. it's going to come back. Like, yeah. There's, but, a, there's another one also. Yeah, but you have a ton of missiles and it doesn't take very long. To, like it doesn't take very much out of your time to to blow it up. No. And it's it stops it. A source of extreme annoyance. No. No. I'm not targeted on you. There. What? what the? Did he blow it up in the air? All right. Cool. Sure. Let's see how long it takes for it to come back. What? Okay. Or just don't. Fine. That's cool too. <laughs> Eight tilts from the your solid resistance. Right. Seems fair. Nice. There. Nice. Oh, you son of a bitch. Good one. I hate this guy so much. Think of all the, you know, important skills you're learning. Like, uh, like uh, precision moving the sticky things around. Yes. Nice. I gotta say, like... Oh, helicopter's back. Okay, well that's cool. That's fine. I mean, I did keep it away for quite a while. There. 
Ow. He still does that move even when he's got only two things left? Yeah. No. Uh, somebody's saying if you... <laughs> oh, really? Thanks. Uh, Alright. And then he just goes... <laughs> got no has, arms! Has six of them again. Yeah. I went for the fastest game. What the? Does he have a face on his torso? I don't know, what he, I don't know exactly what's going on there. So he's saying that if you're targeted, if you're like locked onto somebody, and you uh, you manually move the um, camera, yeah. it moves you to the next target. Oh! Well, that explains every question I've had about it. Also, that's shitty and stupid. Apparently, it said it in the manual. Oh, well, but of that's course, we never look at the manual. Well, you don't need to look at the manual because the game tells you all the controls, except for things like that. What the? Who the hell are you, assholes? What the? No fair. What happened to Mono a Mono? Or Mono a Mono with helicopter. On the plus side, you can, you can get things off these guys. Can, yes, 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 yes. Nice. Thank goodness. Excellent. Ow. <laughs> Alright. I gotta respect a man who uh, attacks you with, like, a 20-foot long pole. Whoops. Ooh, did not dodge that like I thought I did. Alright, you could go, uh, superpower. I don't, know how, I don't know how effective that would be in this situation. So close! Come on, health. Come on, you can do it! Yes. Nice! You, probably, you may have to do a quick tank. Thing. I know. Oh, okay. I don't think he's dead, because he was only 10%. And he fell off the roof. Nobody ever dies falling off roofs. Yep, there we go. Sounds good, E. Cheese Kid. Ouch. <laughs> Don't blame the game, blame yourselves. This game has much more depth than you are capable of at this point. Harsh but fair. Whoa! I disagree with what you, is... uh, Paper Duplis. The locking system, that aspect of the locking system, is not the same as with other games. Just having it, that was my fault. Having it uh, change when you change what you're targeting, uh, when you move the camera stick, I've not seen that before. I've, I've seen a button. Uh, so that uh, lets you cycle through, uh, which would be fine, but I've, I haven't seen one that moves when you move the, the uh, targeting or when you move the camera stick. All right, so now now you are actually That's, fighting, and which is incredibly annoying, by the way. Am I going down? Yeah, you are fighting down. You are you are flying down the. Uh... Are you doing anything? Like, are you? Yeah, I'm shooting missiles and stuff to clear debris out of the way oh, in front okay. of me. And apparently, I'm also... Cutting the floor? Wait, did you... <laughs> I'm oh, going you, up. we're going up. <laughs> going back up. That was oh. the bottom of the helipad. Okay. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Eat it. Nice. Oh, that's good. I was really hoping... I was afraid that you would have to, like, fight that guy a whole bunch later on. Nice. So many pieces. It's over. Okay, Hokey Pokey, I've never played a game that does it, so. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, hey, Alex. What happened? Look, he's just sitting there. 
<laughs> his head's sitting there waving at us. It's like he's embedded in the concrete. Yeah, he's like, what the? What is happening? Oh, I'm we have some bread. Yeah, yeah. Just suspiciously like this one. Mm -hmm. Floating, yeah. floating in midair. Yeah, it's like identical. Yeah, I don't know if anybody noticed our floating sombrero. It's magic. You've got all the ninja swords. Is that like the charging scabbard? The witch? Oh, on his back. Uh, uh, he's got a bunch of crazy stuff. He's got a uh, he's got a he's got the HF blade, which stands for high frequencies. Yeah. Uh, and then he's got it's a progressive knife. Yeah. And then he's got um, a psi that does like a scorpion like get over here like he fight, throws it at a guy and then pulls himself towards them because it's magnetic and then oh, he has a pole arm cute. made out of tiny yeah. arms I have just entered ah. the airspace. I'll show you that it is called Let's Forge oh you got it from what's her face what's the, the lady that attacks you with yeah, a pole arm yeah the lady arm who like puts all the, the, the arms on and almost has an it. orgasm yeah and in three yeah. hours maybe less Oh, Metal Gear. Uh, each is good. I think we're just playing on normal. What's up, boys? And Kevin? Just like I mean, we're not playing on easy, so there's that. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. Clearly, you're screwed. If it's gonna spike demand for him, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw Frame right. What? Man, I sure hope a sniper doesn't shoot you. He's on his way to Pakistan. Well, I, I figured that one out, Ichi's kid. That's what I was doing to the to that guy whenever I could. I love the purple stun on the side. It's awesome. Yeah. That works super good. Wait a minute. This is a Mega Man game. You got those from the bosses you beat, didn't you? Yeah. Who's gonna believe us over world? It's kind of a Mega Man. Hideo Kojima presents Mega Man. Actually, he he wasn't super involved with this game. It was mostly made by Platinum. Even if we were in the world's fastest. Which is why it's a completely different style of game. I was gonna say, like this is kind of like. Ridiculous action, choppy slash chop. An RLV with time to spare. Sundowner's head is still there. But oh yeah, didn't point out a good thing. He's not doing the voice anymore. Oh yeah. Oh, you just chopped him into a million pieces. That would be invincible. Under half an hour. He lied. Right. What a freaking liar. Contact Solus. I would punish him, but he's already split into multiple pieces. Yeah, that guy. So wait, he has a bunch of panels. Or he had a bunch of panels. Yeah. My secret I, ultimate technique is panels! I chopped them off. Yeah. Ooh. Pincer blades? I get his giant scissors. He had scissors. Yeah. Kinda. He had a sword that he attached another sword onto the bottom he of. He had like a sword that he held, and then he had like a holy thing that came out of his wrist that he put the other sword into so he could sort of like Chop kind of you. scissor you. Well. But not Sips. in that. Not in that Gently way. Gently scissoring. Yeah. Oh, you get to customize yourself? Oh yeah. That's pretty sweet. That's how also, I got the, just the mariachi. Whoa! Whoa! Cool. He is a pretty man. That is super cool looking. Sure. Uh, it doesn't. It's this is purely cosmetic, so obviously we're gonna keep the mariachi uniform because <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I was so wait. Uh, I was hoping that you could wear anybody's outfit. That would have been good. Ooh, tons of upgrades there. More strength. Such, we only have 35,000, though, so let's take a look at the... Uh... I feel like strength is going to serve you well. Pincer what? blades. It is a scissor blade. <laughs> High-frequency machetes. Mm. Machetes. Combined machetes. Perform, perform massive shears. More life. Oh, can't, can't afford it. Shit. No. Sell some of your legs. <laughs> just sell it's my just like bits. a straight chop-chop. It's like, I don't need both my legs. Yeah, it's like, all right... How much for, yeah, left Dystopia arm. Dystopia is the name of that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, this is the, the, pull, the pull arm. <laughs> I get it, because it's made of arms. Yeah. Yep. Oh, dear. I, it's officially named L'Etranger. L'Etranger. Or The Strange. All right, I'm going to wait till I, I'm going to wait for another 5,000 VP so I can um, Oops. upgrade my life. Seems good. Save duck. Uh, someone was asking how much longer, uh, ooh, not too long, actually. Yeah, Beach will be here in about ten minutes to continue playing. I think he's, I think he's still playing Harvest Moon right now. Yep. Harvest Moon with serious chat input. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is there a missing... I have the Car sun on me. To go, <sighs> Excellent. Oh, Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. I thought we did, too. Let me see if I can move it slightly over. Yeah, actually, if you, actually, you don't even need to do that. If you just, um... 
Yeah, if you just no, no, the other one. If you just open the or close them a little bit and you know, go in that direction. No, 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 no. Like the whole thing. The other. The other cable. Has been conducting test flights almost every day oh. for the last six months. If you like close the thing. Not breaking yeah. Atmosphere, yeah. They said they so if you close it all the way. Flight, no problem. I know it's gonna. It, 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 it's gonna look awful for a moment. Mankind cannot stay in the cable forever. And then there, then open it a little bit. Only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. Oh, that lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring go. me back a monolith. Done. Okay. Scheiße! Two bogies closing well. fast. Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ three twenties. I okay. Were they Cylons? Defense, I think the best defensive option is shoot Raiden at them. Just fire, put him in a torpedo launcher. Yeah. Fire Raiden. And he'll be a torpedo with knives. Yeah. That's entire. Considering how often Raiden has actually just run up missiles. Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. Like this, this scene has got to end with Raiden jumping out of the helicopter and attacking these guys in midair. Right? Yeah, I'll handle this. Yeah, yep. exactly. It's like there's no way. A nice flight. In an and people say Germans aren't funny. Well, that is a stereotype. Biff. Ow. Okay. He just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Just off into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> that was the last time we saw Ryan. More more games need to do the Metal Gear Solid 3 Omake Theaters. Because those were so funny. Oh yeah. And there would be one of them if this oh, game what? did those. He just hacked it with his sword? Sweet! If this game did those, there would be one where he was like, jumps out, chromes off the thing, yeah, yeah. Just goes, or just, flies off and Or just jumps off and just whoosh, goes behind it. <laughs> Okay. When did he start being able to control robots by sticking his sword in them? Because that would have been very useful a number of times previously. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was there to be like a guy in there being like, oh shit! <laughs> this was supposed to be an unmanned drone. Or just two people, like, who are sitting in seats. Yeah, Denver Storm, exactly. Like, like, in, um, oh, he's seeing Dante's scythe takeovers. I'm thinking of, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Dante, yeah, from yeah, Dante's yeah. Inferno, where you stab the guy in hell, and then you just start driving this guy around. Yeah, by, you know, sticking your scythe in his brain. Yeah, Dante This is... actually makes more sense internally. Yeah. Whoa! Ow, Ow my chin. Chin so hot. How he ended up with the metal jaw. Yeah, the last time he didn't have that. The last time he did this exact thing. Oh, not. I, <laughs> it wasn't an unmanned drone, it was an unmanned drone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Good job, good idea. Pick him up with the helicopter. Uh oh. Later. Wow. Ah. Doctor Doctor. Doctor Doctor is a pretty sweet pilot, actually. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. What? You think falling 500 feet would kill Raiden? Yeah. Have you seen what he's been through? Yeah. Look, he's right there. That's what I'm talking about, Hokey Pokey. Not even hurt. The blooper reels in the special edition of MGS3. Yeah. Like the Doctor. Not only built you, so no, should know your capabilities, but also is in constant contact with you, so should be able to know that that didn't actually hurt you that badly. You aren't even like, you know, tired or being like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> that guy does not wake up from the stun very quick. Ah, got your arm. Nice. Nope, not yet. Don't have the arm yet. Hang on. There, that is on. Ah, more classified data. 
Ooh, nice. Which is kind of funny, because that's the doctor right there just talking to you. Yeah. So, has he remembered that you're alive yet? Or is that just a pre-recorded that's, that's, that's because I got the arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please leave your name after the beep. Give. There. Whoa! Nice! Did I, did I get both of them? No. Oh, yeah, I do! Too bad they don't actually have, like, didn't actually do a, a separate animation from when you grab two at once. That would have been sweet. That was neat. Raiden, are you oh, alright? He's fine. I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. <laughs> and what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, what? too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours the with young a set ladies of wheels. Company? Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. I'm in Colorado? But won't the roads be blocked? Huh. If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry oh, about no. putting some distance between me and World Marshal. What's Haven't we established on multiple occasions that Raiden can run faster than any cars can go? Including up the side of walls? Ha! Wait, what? Haha! No. It's made out of... Uh, oh. Weird. <laughs> Damn it! Part of the sign didn't get the memo. It's, it's made out of the same stuff as the uh, sombrero. <laughs> this is the area I was in before, but now I can actually fight dudes. Oh right, this is the area that you were Ugh, in. geckos. Hang on. Miss cool. Is there a stealth kill on a gecko? Mm -hmm. I, I did it once. Does not compute. It is a oil barrel with a sombrero analyzing sombrero hat found in Mexico. Does not compute. <laughs> hmm. Not being very useful. One of them's gonna make a loop where he comes back around you through here. At least he did before. Well, you can see him on your map there. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. Do, do. What? Oh, man. It would be so awesome if one of them comes up to you in the barrel and its little, like, arm thing snakes out and just picks up the sombrero and puts it on. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, son of a bitch! Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, apparently they're... I think maybe get around behind that. Yeah, apparently their move patterns have changed, so... One second. Yeah, because he comes right up to the back of that dump truck. What? Nice. A convenient rocket launcher right there, too. Boom! That's right! Why are you filled with blood? I don't question. Oh, he's all. stuck! Look, he's stuck. You can see him through the window. Oh yeah, he's stuck <laughs> on a he's stuck on a sign. Nice. <laughs> well, that'll help me. And all the woods left. Sorry, buddy. It's your own fault for getting stuck in the geometry. <laughs> it's just like a pile of wreckage with an oil barrel in the middle. Yeah. It's like, sir, we've been analyzing the uh, we've been analyzing the reports from the battlefield, and there's only one thing, this only one similarity. At every site of every massacre, there's always an oil barrel. What does it mean? I don't know. Some kind of sick joke. 
This is a way better way to kill these things. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I guess you probably It's not actually been... blood, by the way. It's just red hydraulic. Well is it? Yeah. People were saying that they're like, because the, their legs are actually like real muscle it tissue. It's not strictly speaking. Like, kinda, sorta, but they, it, it's not blood blood. Mm. They make a big thing about that in um, MGS 4. Yes, 4. Well, they show up in 3 as well, but... No, no, no we'll wait for it. 3 is Snake Eater. Right, right. Slice! <laughs> Slice! <laughs> Already. This newfound stealth approach is excellent. Uh, I, I like to do it when I have the option. Which I don't now. No, there's no point in it. Oh, right, I lose barrels by doing that. Damn it. Oh, well, you got lots. But like, why did they do that? Why was that a non stealth part? Because they. Push the button. Not enough, I guess. Come on. There. Give. Give spine. Delicious. You spineless coward. Well, spineless anyway. I don't actually know whether you're a coward. But I know you're spineless. Yeah. Provably. Yeah. I have demonstrably uh, made you spineless. Got more than one there. I would be super freaked. Super freaked out if I saw a guy... For one thing, I mean, watching a guy slice up your buddy with a sword would be scary. But, watching a guy slice up your buddy, slice the guy's head off, but then keep slicing him because he wants his spine. That's that's seriously messed up. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's... It's like, he's dead! He's already dead! What that's, are you doing? That's traumatic, yeah. yeah. I don't like coffee either. Right in Paris. It may be an RLB, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. This is the thing that's going to go 20, Mach 23. Trying to sneak up on an arm. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to tell which way they're looking. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that didn't work. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe the full arm is quite good against these guys. Yeah, they're not difficult to kill. Have a barrel here too. Which is fine. Excellent. Replenish your precious barrel supply. Exactly. So Mach 23. That's very fast. That's very fast. Because Mach 1 is... Speed of sound? Speed of sound. Which is like 600 miles an hour? or some, Somewhere around 600, I think. It seems like something Alex would know. Hey, Alex. What's Mach 1? That's the speed of sound, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Which is like, what, 600? Somebody on the chat room. Yeah. I hear, I hear the diesel horror of bead deriving. <laughs> Stop missling me. It's the sequel to Diesel Sweeties. It did not take off very well. No. Oh, 340, oh, 343 meters per second. What did... It's back not, here. Yeah, 600 miles per hour or so. Yeah, I thought it was around there. Oh, it's over 700. Oh, anyway. 
715? We're going for it. Uh, depends on... Wait, hang on. So that means... I'm sure there's nothing in my way. So that means Mach 23 is... Wait, Alex, have you seen the best part of this? You should come watch. That means Mach 23 is 23 times the speed of sound. Okay, so... There's boxes in the game, of course. Yeah? I'm, I'm in sombrero really? mode. This is also a stealth game? Sombrero box. That's pretty fantastic. Okay. But now... Just ditch it. Oh, they an expendable resource? No. Oil drum. Okay. Doop. Right. What if I try to sprint in the oil drum? Um. <laughs> that's pretty great. Not gonna lie. Wait, does this not actually alert people? <laughs> and then you throw up. Wait, oh yeah, Maybe. you just like vomit everywhere? <laughs> Wow. Can we all get in here? Sure. Hey, it's a party! Check out our amazing floating sombrero. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It matches Mark. the one in the game quite well. Wow, somebody had to render that vomit. Uh, yeah, oh, I got I got past just, all the guys. Oh, of course. Oh, Mark. do some mocap for Whoa, that. shit! What? Why did he suddenly get big? Yeah, it's, Those are different guys. Different guys. Although they have one of the little guys inside them. No. Yeah. So Apparently the barrel rolling is an MGS4 as well. Yeah, but it's, it's slightly different. Purple laser cut. It's bad. Purple balls are never good. For some reason, there's Can something very it? unsettling about Can you rip its spine a, out? a robot, a robot that kicking health? people. Yeah, kinda. Health and energy. Energy. Oh, come on. Get, get off. Get over here. Or get me over there. Is more get me to story. you. Let me go over there. I want to touch you. Get me to you. I like there how it has stars. Yeah. Error, you are error. Pull that thing out of it, and then. Grab, grab, no, grab the thing, grab the thing. Oh, I, didn't get, I didn't get the thing. So, yeah, is uh, there actually a reason to slice these things into pieces? Well, yeah, if you slice through that red thing, the red square, then, then you, you can pull, pull our spine out and eat it. Oh! Yeah. oh. I mean, not Because I always thought it was just to show off. Oh, okay. No, so you can. It is also to show off. And then there's also, uh, sometimes you'll be fighting a dude and he'll have, like, just, like, one arm will be kind of lit up. Uh, which means that you can just slice that arm off. Man, it sure is good that they made all of these building facades out of nano-milled materials that you can't cut through. Yeah. I know, uh, it's uh, reinforced steel. Look, it counts how many parts I'm cutting through. That's what? There must be a limit. Do you have the highest cha 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 Right in! I like how much it slows down once there are too many parts. You did that. They disappear after a while, too. Uh, which is a shame. It looks pretty fun. All right, it looks it. really silly. Oh, was super silly. Which I think it's for the best. Yeah. With Extra like bonus security. silly. I mean, this does the, the Metal Gear thing where there is actually, there's certainly a, an element of silliness in it. Escape from Denver. I just kind of wish they would embrace it a little bit more. But that's just me. He's got a rocket. Oh, that guy. So, wow. So far, the best part is... Uh, we were in the middle of like a boss fight or like a boss thing where Raiden is like uh, struggling on the ground. Oh man. He's he's like lying on the ground helpless and the two bosses come up and they're like ha 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 and do like this big long uh, soliloquy, right? Like they do. But while you're there you can look around and there are like guys with guns all around you. And if you look over to one of the guys and just gotta look at him for a while uh, while this whole soliloquy is going on this white, this very cute white kitten walks, <laughs> walks in and the guy goes, ooh, and like bends over and starts, and starts playing with this cat. That's pretty great, I dig that. It was very cute. And then the cat sort of starts going away and he's like, oh, bye. And it takes off his gun and starts pointing at you again. That's fantastic. I'd like to see significantly more of that in these games. Wow, your side effects a serious punch on that guy. Yeah. Okay, so how many multi-million dollar cyborgs to be sliced into confetti? Mm. You don't want to know. That's why I don't even want to think about it. It's just like, just give me another four of them. 
Okay, keep it held down. Slice yeah. all this up and then kaboom. Watch nice. Out. Got your spine. Or whatever your equivalent of spine is. Frightening swall. Uh, Alright, he killed the. Was that a safe spot? Uh, the, it will be momentarily, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I like the way it just kind of falls into itself. It's like some rookie it's like, just uh, finally got his badge and he's like, Oh, my cruiser. <laughs> Can't cut through that. What? Um, <laughs> oh, don't. Maybe, what? maybe you're not. You're oh. supposed to. Be, you're supposed to be able to cut through it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you cut so through like, it. You cut through this it. This you can't cut through. Oh, I see. It's. <laughs> a, I like, but you cut through the gate, which made it like insubstantial. Mm -hmm. But it, it hadn't actually fallen over because yeah. it was still like balanced on top of itself. Tank. All right, there's a checkpoint. I will find a way Sweet. to exit the helicopter. Or not? I will yeah. find a way to exit the helicopter. Okay. Oh, Let me explain to you how much bullshit this is. Oh, goody. There's okay. The first boss of the game is this really cool cybernetic dog okay. with a chainsaw for a tail. Mm. You know, like, okay. as, as you might happen. Yeah. And he, and he, but he's like really smart, like he talks to you over yeah. the course of the thing and like, he, he badmouths you. Yeah, okay. and so you beat him and then he's your bro. And there's like three or four levels that start with him being like, all right, let's go. And then he runs off and he only talks, you, you have never actually had to been able to like have a fight with your cool dog buddy beside you. Drag. It's like, Ramirez, go. I will secure the area. You go do all the actual work. Exactly. He's like, I will go to head. <laughs> so the, the sombrero on top just makes it. Yeah. Oh, oh, right in the sacrum. That was just, that was in the... Oh, no. I hate those guys. I hate those guys so much. Oh, they punch you? Yeah. They, they're really they're, irritating. They're called Mastiffs. Yeah, they're like mastiff. big, they're big, like, gorilla guys. I quite enjoy... Right. It's, uh, heels. It is yeah. beige. Like I said, he's a very pretty man. It's true. Hey, All right. His heels are functional. It's All true. Right. He oh, puts okay. his sword in them and oh, right, he can slice kicks stuff. people. Yeah. All right. yeah. Slice kick. All right. So it is time for Beach's backlog. So Paul and I are gone. Paul and I and the floating sombrero are gone. Uh, Beach might keep the floating sombrero for now. But. So um, uh, pro tip, pro information. Uh, Checkpoint Plus and GPLP will not be here next week because we're doing a special video project that you'll find all about later. Um, but we won't... Uh, it means that we can't be here because uh, we have to be doing stuff on Monday. So, just FYI on that, um, maybe we'll see if we can do a checkpoint at a different time or whatever. But GPLP will, won't, won't be happening. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, sorry about that. But uh, Beej will be here next week and maybe, maybe Alex can fill in or something. So, sorry about that. But this we'll, we'll be continuing GPLP on... Um, on uh, Metal Gear Rising uh, the, the following week. We gotta, so. get, we gotta be getting pretty far along in this. I feel now. like it, yeah. I mean, we're escaping from Denver, so I mean, things can get more dangerous from where we are now. Mm -hmm. so. I guess presumably we've got to go to whatever the Mach 23 is going to take us to Pakistan. So I guess, yeah. Presumably we have to go there. Yeah. So, uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and we're going to go offline, and then we're going to come back online with Beach and Beach's backlog. Right. So, thanks for watching. Stick around and hang out with Beach for the evening. Um, bye, everybody. Bye-bye.